Yo what is up guys, in today's video I will be showing you guys how to create a writing activity books for kids and as usual I will show you guys how to create it for free so if you guys like this video please make sure to smash that like button and without further ado let's go alright guys for the first part of the video uh, without wasting any more time as usual I'm first of all I'm going to show you guys amazon.com okay because we are going to see the books that we are going to make which is writing activity book and here we are we got around 50,000 results of writing activity books from trace so we got trace letters learn to write workbook my first book of pattern and there's so much type of book that we can uh, follow as an example we got here trace letter workbook and it got around 22,000 rating which is really really a lot so for this video I will show you how to create this interior so without wasting any more time let's go so first of all what you guys have to do is just open up your browser as usual and then in Google you have to type coral vector alright because we are going to use this software to create our activity book interior okay just open up welcome to coral vector and then it will bring us to this page okay uh, for me it will bring me to this page but if you guys haven't used coral vector they will ask you to register so just register and everything put up your details and everything and then you will get this page right here so what you guys have to do is just go to the print area right here and then press on paper size and then choose the size of your book and for me i usually just choose 8.5 times 11 inches it's written here and then i'm just gonna click on it and then they will give us a blank page right here and you guys must be asking okay now what we have to do what we have to do uh, first of all is just click on a new tab all right and then type on google gum road okay gum road and then they will bring us to this page right here gumroad.com click on it and then you will get this page right here and as you guys can see there's so many uh, book interiors that is given to us so here we are the interior that we want to download which is the handwriting practice book interior so before we are going to continue i just want to give a shout out to muja right here also the youtube channel a youtuber so if you guys like it or just check it out his channel he also teach about kdp so if you guys interested you guys have to check out his video so uh, we're going to continue what you have to do is just press on muja's uh, product right here handwriting a practice book interior uh, and also i forgot to tell you the links for this uh, interior is in the description so you guys can just click on it so i'm going to open it up and then this is how it looks like so it's suitable for handwriting practice so people can write on it so we are going to download this first you purchase this product you can view this content so name a fair price if you guys want to give him uh, what we call it a little bit of what we call it a gift okay because he provide this uh, product but if you don't want you can also just download it for free so for the sake of this video i'm just going to download it for free i'm going to put a zero dollars and then add to cart and then they will give us this checkout right here we got an email address and everything so just press get and then let it process for a minute and then they will give us this page right here so you guys can download two types of file which is the png or the svg but for me for this video especially we are going to download the svg file so just download it so we got the file itself so i'm going to open it up so we got this interior okay so now what you have to do guys you just have to open up your coral vector and then remember that the file you have just downloaded okay just drag and drop on this white page okay i have downloaded it i'm just going to drag and then i'm going to drop and then they will give us this page right here we got the line interior we are not done yet because i'm going to teach you guys one or two things about this uh let's see how we are going to drag this okay put it a little bit better maybe in the middle all right so we got the big interior uh, maybe make the page a little bit smaller because as we know uh, Amazon make sure that we don't put too far on the left or right because it will bleed through okay so I'm just going to put properly 
and make sure there's a uh, space between it all right so we are done so now guys we are going to proceed with the letter a so before we are going to start writing the letters there's one thing important that we left out which is we need to find a suitable font to put in our interior book so what you have guys have to do is just open up a new tab open up google as usual and then type in google fontspace.com all right so this is the page that you will bring us okay there's so many fonts that we can get so what you have to do is just go to the top corner right here in the search bar and then type in a dotted okay because we need dotted font for our writing a book okay and then they will give us a so many types of font right here so before going to continue there's one thing that you guys must not forget which is the commercial use right here we need to turn it on because we are going to use these fonts for commercial use right and then they will give us so many types of dotted lines and you guys can choose which dotted lines that you will like okay so there's so many and i think that i prefer this thing right here which is the national first font dotted by roger white okay so one thing and that's another tips that i have to tell you guys which is in this box right here you have to type the letters so, so as an example i'm just going to put b and b uppercase and b a lowercase okay so what is this for this is basically you guys can see the font that they will appear for your books so okay this is an example here so i found the national first font dotted which is i prefer and then they also provide another font that which is not dotted so you guys have to download uh, both of this for your book if you guys are asking why don't worry i will show you uh, the reason why so i'm just going to download uh, both of this and after you guys have downloaded uh, both of those font what you guys have to do is just open up back your coral vector website right here and before we are going to proceed there's one thing that i think which is the uh what we call it the line is too many so i'm just going to reduce it a little bit so i'm just going to highlight this interior and then click on this ungroup items okay uh, maybe click again okay now we i have ungroup so i'm just going to delete the top corner here because why because i'm going to put the subject on the top here okay guys before we are going to put the subject the letters and everything we have to upload the font that we have just downloaded so what you have guys have to do is just go to the top left corner right here press filed and then go to import and then just go to add fonts and then just upload all of your fonts that you have downloaded okay so i just uploaded it so now the font have been uploaded to this page right here now it is time to write the text so i'm just going to click right here and then make the font a little bit smaller maybe 60 and then i would like it to be the word apple a for apple okay so we got apple right here drag it a little bit and then i'm just going to change the font to the font that i have just downloaded which is the national first font okay remember not the dotted one but the not dotted one hmm, for okay this apple thingy all right so i think it's too small maybe i should make it a little bit bigger 72 yeah i think that's good that's good enough all right and then maybe uh, not add another text and put it in the left corner here and then i'm just going to put a let's go okay we got a for apple as simple as that and then you guys can just copy by pressing ctrl c and then press ctrl v so we got two here I'm just going to drag into this line so we got the letter a and then just copy and paste again all right just drag but this time we are going to put the lower case okay I'm gonna put a now that's good and drag a little bit to the right okay so it's just simple as that and then uh, let's say we are going to put the dotted lines now so we are going to copy again and then paste and then uh, drag it to a little bit to the far right but this time we're going to change the font to dotted lines and we got the font and then just copy again and paste okay 
So guys, we have completed the letter A. I've already edited and everything. So maybe it is time to continue with the letter B. So I'm just going to highlight this and then I delete. And maybe uh, for B would be, I think it's suitable if we put banana, right guys? Banana. Remember guys, if, uh, don't you don't need to follow me. You guys can just use your own uh, imagination, your own creativity to create your own books. I'm just showing you example how to create it, how to create it, okay? And here we are guys, I have completed for the letter A and also the letter B. And this looks really good as it is. And maybe I'm just going to delete this lower part. All right, we are good. And maybe make the, what we call it? the area a little bit bigger oh sorry okay i'm just going to drag this a little bit uh lower and we're good we got a for apple and b for the banana so we have completed the page but not really there's something that i want to teach you guys you guys ha can put uh, some pictures right here the picture of apple or banana so how do we gonna get this picture just open up a new tab and then just type in vec z all right and then I'm just going to put fruits, okay? And maybe I'm just going to search two fruits, which is apple and banana, and this is the image perfectly. But before we are going to download this image, you guys have to remember something. You guys have to turn on the free license, all right? Okay, now it's time to choose apple and banana, okay? You guys have to maybe search for it, and then we got this image right here. So what you have to do is just download it. I'm just going to proceed with download and let it download for a minute. And here we are guys, the file that I have just downloaded. What you have to do is just press right click and then extract the files. You guys can put anywhere you like. And then they will give us a three files right here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And three files right here, which is the first one would be a JPEG file the second would be an EPS file and the last would be the license information the file that we are going to use is the EPS file okay now what you guys have to do is just go back to your web browser and type in Google and then type in Google EPS to SVG because we need the EPS file to turn to SVG and then they will bring us to this page right here what you guys have to do is just press a select file and then find the file that you have just downloaded which is for me is the five fruit icon make sure you guys take the eps file okay so i'm just going to upload the eps file and then convert to you have to make sure that it is convert to svg and then just press convert and then they will give us a notification right here what is left to do is just press a download image and then we've got the image all right now open up back your coral vector and then maybe create a new page all right this is page two uh, upload the image the the converted file okay the svg file i'm just going to click drag and drop okay uh, after you guys have dropped just select everything and then drag it a little bit to the middle now the thing is we just want to use two images right now which is the apple and the banana what you guys have to do is just highlight everything and then go to ungroup items okay is it un ungroup already all right it's already ungroup just click on the apple change it to sub select first and then highlight the apple and then press ctrl c and then a ctrl v so we got the apple so just drag oh my god <laughs> okay now just drag and drop so we got the apple the second image would be the banana so turn back to sub select and then highlight the banana and then change back to pointer and then just drag the banana so i've got two images right here and now all of this i'm just going to delete it we need to change the apple into a black and white what you have to do is just highlight the apple I'm gonna press sub select and highlight everything and then go to the right corner right here you guys can see here the borders just change it to black okay go to color field and then go to black okay we're good and now the pixel right here change it to three so the border will be a little bit bigger 
let's go and now uh, for the fields maybe a juice white and then we got the a black the apple right here we're good just repeat it the same for the banana now this is better what you guys have to do is now highlight the apple and then go to Control c so we're gonna copy and go to page one and then press on this page and just Control v and we got the apple right here to the best place and yeah we got the apple and now just go back to the second page and then let's select the banana go back to pointer and then i'm going to copy and then go to page one i'm going to paste and then just drag a little bit and make it a little bit bigger and that's basically it we got the apple and also we got the banana and yeah that's basically it so you guys can just repeat uh, until you guys have all of the letters that you want after all of those are done what you guys have to do is just press file and then just go to export and then you guys can export it's either you guys can export to png or you guys can just direct export to pdf document so just go to pdf document and then maybe choose 300 dpi let it export and then here we are i've already completed my interior book and that is all so yeah guys that is basically all for today's video i hope you guys can create your own tracing letter book and hoping it benefit you guys on your amazon kdp journey so if you guys like this video please do press that like button and if you want to see more please do consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye see ya